Well, I think we should blow the uh, lid off a few things once in one video here. And there's none better than the old V2 for blowing the lid off, eh? Now, Penamund, the pen, like the wind rune, number eight, like Or, Ormund, Jorgamund, the Ouroboros. So no prize for that name. And on to London, to dominate London and thus the world with rocket, uh, fear, phobia, love, love or hate them. Some teenage uh, boys in the past, you know, to collect them. Oh, it's a, it's, it's a wonderful psyop, the old rockets. And this little video is one of the most telling things. One of the most telling things I've ever watched for a short little video, I tell you. This little bit here, this little bit here is, is a real cool, cool. Look at this bit. Wee! Around and around we go. Yes, this is the prototype. But talk about uh, acting troops and talk about the setting up of the Israeli state and Operation Paperclip for NASA and all stemming from uh, the so-called Nazis. Look at this picture of our Nazis here. Look at this little picture of them. What a nice little acting troop. And there's something always very Khazar going on in, the, in this crew. Very indeed. The Disney idea. Look at this guy with the smoke. They're all doing the hand gestures. Duping delight. It's all in it. And here we go. There's all these little rocket... Uh, at first, there's all little ones that fail, right? Now, that is always going to be the way. You've always got to show you a few failures. You watch this one here drastically fail off. I jumped ahead and it. I just have to play it a bit. To watch it fail off. Oh, it's got that little sign. I see. That was part of it. Up she goes. Different ones uh, fail. Look. Oh, they had a camera on it. How did they retrieve the footage? How did they retrieve the footage? But the spectacular failures. I don't know where they were. I must have jumped ahead on them. It's always the way, have these failures and then suddenly one goes up well and everybody cheers and all that. It's in it all. You'll have to watch it yourself. Oh, it's just that one again. Hang on, I'll find this, this really good one where it fails. Oh, I just had to show you this still of Nazis in a bus. <laughs> that looks like he went on to be uh, one of the boys at uh, either Tel Aviv or down there at Houston. Straight up, eh? And in the bus. We've seen that idea from uh, the old hook, remember? Remember the yellow bus with the kids in it? The old Sandy hook. I'll find that demolished rocket, and there's a few of them, but I've just got to show you this. Talk about the telephone, eh? This guy's sending the signal, a little bell on top of the phone, out in the woods here. And you won't see this guy standing around the base of the rocket. This, this is the laugh of the century. Look at this. Look at this business. The man in a white coat fluttering. And he's checking out, making final things. And then we have the crew watching. And up we go. You know, some CGI here because it's all the way to London. They want you to believe. This is how high it went, of course. But you never see that in the real rocket launches. Let me show you these uh, catastrophe ones. Oh, one last shot of the boys while we've got it here. Isn't that just like the canteen at NASA? And where they all sit around joking, they're all comparing, you know, oh, it is a great thing, the V2, the V2 is just so wonderful. Uh, this is, you know, what you've got a meme in from this old movie tone. Shot by the Germans, eh? And somehow miraculously picked up by the uh, British, no doubt, and shown in movie tones through the 50s, you know, got to beat up that evil, evil Nazis with their evil, evil rocket. Yes, here's a collection of little disaster ones. Oh, they're classic. Boom, 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 boom. It's gone. And then there's this one here. Boom, upsy down. Whoa. Now, how would you be standing around it or anywhere near it when it launched when you'd seen that one, say? Eh? Oh, well. This one explodes and boom. Now, how does it do that? But look, a bit of it still seems to maintain to do that bit. Another explosion. And it looks like the same trees that we saw in uh, some of the Nuco ones. Blowing in the breeze. 
Oh, and see, look. Oh, they were. They were all destroyed. And look, they we're all checking out the debris. And there's the rocket. Looks something like from MH17 uh, now, doesn't it? So we know the memes here. Can you see now? A total acting troop of a government. Totally under the thumb of uh, the Western powers as they strategically uh, developed certain things. And this one was a major one because, you know, it had to then go over to America and uh, sneak back to Russia and all that business. And now we have it, you know, going across here. And then we have the famous London scenes like this. Well, one suggestion is pull up a few Land Rovers, uh, blow the whistle, say everyone underground, and then a few Land Rovers come up with big megaphones that make this sound, extra explosions as you're actually burning most things. As you can see here, quite clearly, it's uh, lighted all up. There you go. So, you know. Some great fraudulence went on with all of this. But that's the, the corker, the way they have the failures at first and then all of a sudden one goes up much higher. You don't see it go much higher than a couple of thousand feet. And what are you looking at? I mean, film was more sophisticated than we are led to believe, of course. They always keep the best stuff for the military. So it's very hard to separate. Look at this, this gang of people here on this thing. Look at this, eh? Well, this is delusional, of course, you know. I mean, these are real Operation Paperclip. Yes, there is some sort of operation like that, but that's a real in-home sort of job. There's nothing from one government to the next. Not on your life, Charlie. This is all the one little entity.